Uh, hi everyone, uh, we will see one interesting uh, user interface provided for the designing of machine learning models, machine learning algorithms. So this is called as playground.tensorflow.org. You can visit this site to go on this website, playground.tensorflow.org. So this is a user interface provided uh, to test out the designing of TensorFlow machine learning library because machine learning library uh, will help you to design machine learning models and this tensorflow api or tensorflow open source library will also help you to uh, create design and test out your machine learning models so this playground is specifically created to test out or to uh, try some hands on on how some different features or different functions or different input data will be uh, giving you the different outputs based on your uh, provided input. So this playground is pretty much easier. You can see uh, the UI is provided to give different values and test it out. Uh, also they have provided a code location on GitHub for this playground. You can go through this code. It is a Python code. This is of the playground.tensorflow.org and you can click here to go to the code if you want to check. So we'll go through one by one uh, features of this playground. You can see some uh, console here like play button, reset button, next button. This is uh, pretty much similar to your music player. So this button will be used to test out your machine learning model. Epoch will give you the time in which your output came with your inputs. Learning rate, it has some real values already feeded in. Uh, higher the learning rate, uh, more are the chances that your uh, neural network or your network design trying to predict something like it will tend to predict based on your learning rate. So higher the learning rate, higher the possibility of prediction from your model. So it should be balanced value, it should not be higher or lesser. So make sure it is a minimum possible value so that it the, your model should not be overfit or underfit. Activation, activation functions, there are four activation func functions provided here, ReLU, TanH, Sigmoid and Linear. So activation functions make important part uh, in your uh, training of your model and uh, those are working in background of this model. Uh, this is Rectifier, Linear Unit Model, TanH and these are some mathematical models. You can say these are functions when we learnt in mathematics school mathematics like uh, y equals to f of x. In this case, f of x is a function uh, which is y given as a output is a y and that a function is working on x. So x will be your input values and y will be your output normally. And regularization uh, will try to reduce the overfitting. Uh, we'll try to avoid the overfitting. So the, this is the rate for this regularization. And same thing is applied to regularization rate. The value should be balanced. Problem types, two problem types are provided, classification and regression. So classification and regression both are supervised learning uh, models or supervised learning examples. So um, what classification is? Classification has uh, output uh, value which is discrete and which is not continuous. So it's like true and false, false kind of classification value. And regression will be uh, a function which is returning a real value or a continuous value. So we'll take an example like uh, if the data set is houses, so the classification problem or the regression problem will take first. So uh, for the data set of regression uh, uh, houses, regression problem can be uh, predict the value of house. So the values of houses will be a real value and that goes on changing it is a continuous so it's a regression problem and if you want to make a classification problem you can say that this is a recommendation value or recommended value like 50 lakhs so uh, what is the uh, whether the price of that house is less or higher than the recommended price so you are asking a question yes or no question so this is a classification problem so you can give all these values and change and try it out data sets like four types of data sets are provided these are dots in various formations you can see 
training data and test data ratio is 50% here that means out of your data set 50% is training data 50% is test data normally it is a 80-20 pattern which is followed in industry noise is like if you see here uh, orange dots are already separated from the blue dots if you increase the noise it will add some noises like in orange dots also there are some blue dots so if you want to make your data set complex you can add noise batch size is also uh, it can also be added it it is based on your it is actually related to your batches of your function if you see the colors will change and what are, what these colors are i'll tell you so this is basically a behavior tagged with this batch size for each neuron colors is nothing but data neurons and weight values so normally here orange is negative value and blue is positive value normally features features are the properties which are involved in the decision making or prediction so if you have 10 properties and out of that if four properties are required for the correct prediction so four will be features so as it is a sample mathematical problem which are solving using machine learning model uh, using neural networks so it is not a real life problem but you can actually uh, compare this mathematical problem to your real life problem so we have features like x1 x2 x1 square x2 square x1 x2 sine of x1 sine of x2 so these are mathematical features because the problem is mathematical and in real life problem the features will be different it can be anything it can be a salary or it can be the different regions anything so you can compare it out with your real life problems uh, layers so before going to layers we'll first uh, see what is um, neural network neural network is a artificial neural network uh, which replicates your human brain so we are actually replicating human brains so, so uh, human brains have various nerves and that nose gets activated based on the input that we give and it it will perform some output Sim like if you eat spicy the particular nose will get activated and your response will come like give me some water so it is as simple as that so uh, similar to that we are trying to create some neural nets uh, which will replicate the human brain so we have neurons here which are a single basic unit of your neural neural network which processes something based on some input given so this vertical line is a hidden layer of your model contains neurons so hidden layer is like it is inside a model which works from inside which is not visible to outside world outside to the model so here are, uh, there are three hidden layers which first with four neurons then with the two neurons and then with two neurons if you want to add neurons you can click this plus sign you can add neurons so I'll add one two neurons here so these are three hidden layers this is your output layer this is your input layer where you are giving features so this particular is the output from one neuron so this is output from one neuron you can see in the larger screen there okay and that output is combined and given to these this layer then again they will process it based on some activation functions you provide and then again they will give it to next layer and finally your output should come so a number of hidden layers depends on the complexity of your problem if your problem is higher the model should be bigger having multiple hidden layers if you want to add multiple hidden layers you can click on this button I guess here you can have six hidden layers on this playground but you can have many depend it depends on the complexity so I'll have some simple model with two hidden layers uh, will simple will pass simply x1 and x2 which are the features for this model and this line if you see these are the weightages so the thickness of your line will showcase you the weightage of that feature so if you see this line is quite a bigger than this line so if you see weight is 0 0.053 but here the weight is 0 0.49 that means weightage of that feature which is going to be processed is higher so what weightage is uh, in real life also normally 
uh, we'll say the weightage of that person in my life is higher that means that person is important to you similar in similar fashion if uh, the weightage of particular feature is higher that means that feature is important to your model so it, uh, that weightage is uh, provided and is derived from this your learning rate and all and uh, it will automatically get used in your model so that is why it is a replica of human brain it will calculate it and it will directly give you the output so uh, if i give this test data set or you this input data set circular data with the features x1 x2 having two hidden layers having four neurons here three neurons here learning rate 0.03 tan h activation function no regularization because I, I i do not see any overfitting otherwise i would have used any of the regularization here and i am trying to um, solve the classification problem so what classification problem here is i want to classify these blue dots from the orange dots so let's try it out yes here you can see that blue dots are classified from orange dots so the training loss and test loss is almost same but uh, most of the times uh, it will not be same in major problems because obviously training data set is different test data set is quite a uh, large and complex so you will have more loss at that time epoch will give you the time in which you got the output you can see whether it is faster or not if you want to change the function if i change a linear function you can see it is quite hard for it because the pattern of your dots is uh, circular and you are trying to uh, figure out it is using a linear activation function but similarly if I use ReLU we should get output yes we are getting so this is quite good so if I want a regression problem so the pattern will be different it is linear now because uh, regression will give you output in continuous form it's not a classification problem so we are data set will change we have different data sets now if I use the ReLU function with same learning rate yes it can classify or you can say it is regressing the difference if we use tan h activation function it is also giving you the results so uh, this is a quite simple playground you can come here and play with the uh, different uh, combinations of learning rate activation functions regularization and the problem type you can give different data as an input like this it will take more time there are different different uh, data sets available try it out change the training and test data uh, combination add some noise to it and add some hidden layers also when the problem is complex it will not take more time so accordingly you will have some predictions like how the output comes or how output behaves depending on different input you are giving so there are different patterns you can see so you it is also a classification problem it is classifying it correctly so that's all uh, for this playground uh, to sum it up this is a playground which gives you a user interface to try out different input and output combination on machine learning models uh, to solve the problems of classification and regression you have to provide some more details like learning rate activation function regularization etc uh, to try it out and have some different outputs with different parameters you also have epoch time available to see how fast which model is with which with which features and uh, this playground is basically testing out the machine learning models developed using tensorflow 
a source library uh, which is an open source library also the github code for this library is available on the same page and i guess uh, the official site of this tensorflow api is also available which is tensorflow.org and this is playground.tensorflow.org thank you for watching this video uh, subscribe to the channel like and share this video if you like it 